Welcome to Module 7, Lesson 1. Let's get started. Today we will be learning how to solve word problems using a letter for the unknown. We are learning this so that we can understand how to solve word problems. We will know that we are successful when we can solve word problems using a letter as the unknown. Let's solve word problems using the Read Draw Write or RDW process. So what is Read Draw Write? Well, the Read Draw Write process, also known as RDW, is a strategy for solving word problems in math. The R stands for read. Read the question and pick out the important information. The D stands for draw. Draw a picture to help you solve the problem. This could be an array, a bar diagram, or any other math model you choose. The W stands for write. The answer as a sentence. Read the problem and find the information. Lena's family buys two adult tickets and two child tickets for the hayride. How much does it cost Lena's family to go on the hayride? We're going to break the question apart into what do we know and what do we want to know. Well, we know that there are four people two adults, and two children. We want to know how much it costs in all for all four tickets. So what information do we still need to solve the problem? We still need to know the price of the ticket. Let's look at the graphic. It looks like a sign about the price of the hayrides. It says that hayrides cost $7 per adult and $4 per child. So what can we draw to solve the problem? Here are a few suggestions, but you can come up with ideas of your own. As you can see, I've drawn a number bond, a tape diagram, also known as a bar diagram. I can use repeated addition, and I can use my multiplication strategy. What would you draw? So what sentence can we write to answer the question? When you're thinking about your sentence, you want to go back to the question and find out exactly what they're asking. So let's read it again. Lena's family buys two adult tickets and two child tickets for the hayride. How much does it cost Lena's family to go on the hayride? It costs Lena's family $22 to go on the hayride. Let's try a read draw write question. Jody has seven boxes of beads. Each box has 50 beads in it. Jody gives 10 beads to a friend. How many beads does she have left? I'm going now to my Google Jamboard. To get to Jamboard, I type in jamboard.google.com 
If you don't have access to Jamboard, you can use a dry erase marker and a board, or even just a paper and pencil. So if you'd like to do this along with me, I'm going to now draw something to help solve the problem. I first need to find out how many beads Jody started with. So I need seven times 50. So I'm going to draw a tape diagram with seven boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And each box has 50. So how can I find 7 times 50 Well, I can use what I know about multiplying by 10, right? So I know that I can just multiply 7 times 5 and then add a 0. So I can say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 and then add a zero on the end. So she started with 35 plus a zero on the end would be 350 beads. Now I want to know how much she has left. So that would be the 350 minus 10 so she has 340 beads left. And the final step is to write a sentence. So I need to reread the question. It says, how many beads does she have left? So I can write a sentence. Jody has 340 beads left. Now there's a good answer, but I want a great answer. So I'm going to elaborate and say how I arrived at 340. So I can say <clears throat> she started with 350 beads and gave away 10 beads. I know that 350 minus 10 is 340. Okay, so I'm satisfied with my answer. I've done my very best work, so I'm going to now check my answer. Yes, Jordy, Jody has 340 beads left. Okay, now it's time for you to do a read, draw right question on your own. We're going to read the question together, then you are going to draw out a math model and write a sentence to complete the answer. When you've done your very best work, you can look in the description box below to find the correct answer and compare it to your own. The question says the store has coats in five sizes. There are 10 coats in each size. The store adds one more coat to each size. How many coats are there in all? Okay, go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you in the next lesson.